For countless generations, humanity has lifted its gaze toward the vast canvas of the night sky. We believed we understood its enormity. We drew maps of constellations, traced the paths of wandering planets, and carefully recorded the cycles of stars. We measured, calculated, and even dared to imagine what lay far beyond our reach. Astronomers of old carved their knowledge in stone. Modern scientists built telescopes to peer ever deeper. Each generation was confident that it had finally grasped the scale of the heavens. But every time we believed we had measured the true expanse of the cosmos, reality humbled us. Every discovery pulled the horizon farther away, reminding us that the universe is always greater, always more mysterious than the limits of our imagination. Now, in our own time, the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered its most breathtaking revelation and it did so with a single image. An image so powerful that it stretches across 13.5 billion years of cosmic history. Through this one photograph, astronomers have been forced to confront an unsettling truth. The universe is not simply vast. It is immeasurably more intricate, far more ancient, and astonishingly more populated with galaxies, stars, and worlds than any model dared to predict. This is not just another discovery. It is a redefining of the universe, a rewriting of what we thought we knew about our place and existence. Hubble came before Webb. The Hubble Space Telescope gifted us its now legendary ultra-deep field. A tiny fraction of the sky, observed patiently four days, revealing nearly 10,000 galaxies in one small patch. And these were not stars, not mere points of light. Each was an entire galaxy, a sprawling metropolis of billions of suns. Each sun surrounded by potential worlds of its own. That single image reshaped humanity's vision of reality. It inspired the belief that the visible universe contains nearly two trillion galaxies to trillion cosmic realms, each one a star-filled cathedral. For decades, Hubble defined our sense of scale. It showed us the universe was far larger than we ever imagined. And yet, Hubble had its limits. It could not make out the tiniest and most ancient forms of light. The light stretched thin across billions of years of expansion, its wavelengths drifting into the invisible infrared spectrum. This is the realm where Webb was designed to see. And when Webb's gleaming, gold-plated mirror finally unfolded in the silence of space, it revealed the universe in a way humanity had never seen before. What it revealed did more than extend our vision, it shattered our assumptions. If Hubble gave us a glimpse of a single city block, Webb unveiled the view of an entire continent overflowing with galaxies, each one a story unfolding across cosmic time. One of Webb's most ambitious initiatives, known as Cosmos Webb, dedicated over 250 hours of observation to a region of the sky three times larger than the full moon. Thousands upon thousands of exposures were captured, then combined into a breathtaking mosaic the most detailed map of the universe ever assembled by human hands. That image also contained an overwhelming truth, a staggering 780,000 galaxies. Galaxies that reach nearly to the very dawn of time itself. In a single frame, we can witness the grand narrative of creation playing out before our eyes from galaxies already mature and majestic, like our own Milky Way, to embryonic structures still glowing faintly, born just a few hundred million years after the initial event. The scale is beyond comprehension. If Hubble's deep field were printed on a single sheet of paper, Webb's new map would not fit in your hands. It would cover a mural the size of a wall over 13 feet wide. Every speck of light, a galaxy. Every galaxy, a universe unto itself. And within every universe, billions of stars, billions of possible worlds, billions of chances for life. This is more than just brand new information. It is a profound reshaping of human identity. A reminder of the vastness of the universe majestic, far more immense than our minds. But perhaps the most unsettling truth hidden in Webb's images isn't just the staggering number of galaxies. It is the maturity of these galaxies in the earliest moments of cosmic history. For a long time, prevalent theories had proposed that the initial galaxies ought to have been small, dim, and disorganized light fragments still attempting to assemble order out of chaos. 
Instead, Webb has uncovered radiant systems with good structure, galaxies with recognizable spiral arms filled with heavy substances like carbon and nitrogen. This is shocking evidence. It suggests that whole families of stars were already alive and burning brightly and that all of them perished within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang. By every model we once trusted, these galaxies should not exist. Not yet. Not so early. Their presence disrupts our timeline of cosmic evolution. It forces scientists to acknowledge that stars, galaxies, and even black holes formed earlier, expanded more rapidly, and evolved through mechanisms we do not yet comprehend. With a single sweep of its golden mirror, Webb has rewritten the very narrative of creation. And yet, its revelations dig even deeper. Galaxies revealed by Webb are not spread out like sand grains on a beach. They appear woven together linked by unseen strands. This is what astrophysicists call the cosmic web a colossal framework of dark matter and gas stretching for billions of light years. Filaments connect galaxies like pearls hung from a cosmic chain. Some of these structures span distances so vast that even light the fastest phenomenon we know would take billions of years to cross them. But here lies the mystery. These structures appear far too organized, too coherent, too precise to have grown so quickly since the supposed beginning. Could it be that the universe was born with a hidden blueprint? Or is our very picture of the beginning flawed? Some scientists now suggest the universe might not have had a single origin at all. Perhaps it is cyclical endlessly reborn. Perhaps time itself does not flow in a straight line, but in layers, making it possible for complex structures to emerge earlier than we expect. Webb is pushing us to ask a question more unsettling than when did the universe begin. It asks whether the concept of a beginning even makes sense. And if the universe truly has no edge if the galaxy's web shows us are only a fraction of an endless void then we may be staring into infinity itself. Infinity, once the realm of poets and philosophers, is now under scientific consideration. To stare at Webb's images is to feel to truths colliding. We are smaller than ever imagined, a fragile species on a pale blue dot. Yet we are more powerful than ever believed, for we have constructed an eye that can search forever. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only widened our perspective but also shaken the foundations of our existence. Its first images reveal galaxies to structured, to large, to old within a universe to immense for our current science to explain. The universe is not only vast, it is far too big possibly infinite, perhaps eternal. And we, brief and fragile human beings, are standing on the very edge of a cosmic awakening. The universe is not just greater than we thought. It may be greater, 